So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the support he received and his wife believed him. A lot of us, our wives don't believe us, including myself. <laughs> say something, they say no. Mm -mm. No matter what you think, you might think, okay, Sheikh, how can you say that? Yeah, it's true. Sometimes they, you say something, they, they say, ah, this guy, no ways, that's not true. Here's the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that example is so beautiful. The wife was the first one. She said, no, I believe. You're saying she didn't even question him. Imagine you say, you know, an angel came to me. Oh, this is what happened. And she says, mm, did it really happen? <laughs> no way. No way. Subhanallah, Rabbil Alameen. She believed immediately. And then when they narrated it, you know what? The cousin, the Ali radiallahu anhu, who was living with them, he believed immediately. He said, no, it's, yes, I believe. Because he knew. Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu believed immediately. He was a friend and adult. Ali radiallahu anhu was still young. From among the boys, he was the first. From among the adult males, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, from among the adult females, was Khadija bint Khuwailid. Those were the three, the first three. First three. Who are they? Closest circle. And after that, his friends, those whom he's interacted with over time, they accepted. You are indeed a messenger. May Allah resurrect us as a friend of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the day of judgment. Say Amin. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, if you were there, would you accept the message? Good question, right? If you were there at that time, would you accept the message? Now I want to take you into today. Halal and haram is clear. The do's and the don'ts are already clear. What the messenger said and did not say is already quite clear. We still do not accept his message up to today and we call ourselves followers. I'm telling you when they, when they saw or heard that alcohol and intoxicants were prohibited, they, they threw it away. When you and I know things are prohibited, we still don't throw them away. We don't even stop them. May Allah strengthen all of us. And when I say may Allah strengthen all of us, including me, may Allah strengthen us to do the right thing. Salah, a prayer. When he said prayers are how many times a day? Five times a day. Pillar of Islam. Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib and Isha. Some of us, Dhuhr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib and Isha. It's a fact. You know what that means, right? <laughs> I see someone somewhere there has understood. Dhuhr, Dhuhr, Maghrib. Then what happened? The other ones, you miss them completely. Fajr, what happened to it? Ah, we snoozed. Didn't we tell you if you snooze? you lose. That's a fact. So whenever you disobey an instruction of Allah given by Rasulullah tell yourself I need to strengthen myself. If I'm a true messenger, if I'm a true follower, strengthen. Get up for Salatul Fajr. The Prophet Muhammad tells us that the two units of prayer prior to the Farad of Fajr are better than the whole world and whatever it has. Do you know the hadith? That's exactly how it's worded. The two units of prayer prior to the farad, which means the sunnah of fajr, better than the whole world and whatever it has. I want to ask you a question. If that is better than the whole world and whatever it has, what do you think is the value of tahajjud? 